就嚟咗百幾年啫嘛，人流最嗰陣時嚟啊嘛，你話幾耐啊？知咩知？彎彎地有圓圈喺上邊嘅咩知？九咯，九十啊！二一年出世咪九十啊，浮零。咪住就過日啫嘛喺度，你但係攞住係嘅，唔係坐喺度係享福嘅，坐喺度坐喺唔會行動慘。我成日喐咁，我健康啊嘛，拳頭打死老虎都得。<笑>喺我做乜仔？叫叫都係好中意睇我開檔，十一蚊一毫二。马死落地行啊，系嘛？马死落地行啊，嗰啲叫几艰难都好啦
都要走埋佢咯。五年之後，整整下個唐人街就差唔多係冇噶啦。黑佛係西人嗰個窩啦，一一半一半咯。That's your five-year-old cheese. Beautiful cheese. Give a little sample to the customer, and when he tastes it, they pick it up right away. You know, actually, we always have the Parmesan. It comes from my father's cousin. We've been buying it for 105 years now. Long time. They come from all over to buy it. Prince George, Oregon. Oh, we can't find it in Portland. Why well, find the junk down there? That's all. We have never changed anything in the store. It's the same way as it's always been. Even when Dad was here, and I would like to change something, because no, no, just leave it alone. The customers will get upset if you change it. Dad used to do this, and it looks more authentic. Not with the machine that you go tack, 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 you know? Each piece of cheese has personal attention to it. We have coffee, yeah? 花生粥有冇？有。你成日播呢嗰度幾時開啊？度 ？Next Monday 啊。好，佢。啊。When we first started, my partner was named 啊，展超，變態嘅。And everybody call me Fat Dragon. I like the word fat. I don't mind. <laughs> you know? Back in 1992, the place was pretty rowdy. But today, there's no business, everything is slowing down. There's nobody walking in Chinatown. I gotta go. Oh, would you leave me alone, man? Sure. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. I always enjoy um, drinking tea, but never thought I would be in the business. The logo is actually my dad's own calligraphy. The right character means young. The one on the left means girl. And if you combine them together, it means amazing. So at a time when my dad named it the store, he was hoping one of his young girl would take over the business.
my dad would have tea. Dark roast um, tikkun yum iron buddha all day long. I can smell that in his skin. <laughs> he would wake up in the middle of the night, um, two or three in the morning. He would go make some tea before he goes back to sleep. Tea, tea, tea. I have never seen him drink water. When business are bad, everybody starts to blame something. <laughs> the dragon, some feng shui expert say the dragon shouldn't be facing inward toward the shop, but should be facing outwards because they're drawing the chi away from the tenant. But if you are facing outward, then uh, the chi is restored, prosperity. But I'm not a feng shui expert. <laughs> Wow. How's it going? How long have you been opening here? Had the grand opening on March 17th. So March 17th, how opening? It's the first one month anniversary. Wow. One yeah. month anniversary. I, I still think that you're not open yet. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm open. I'm open. We open here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really understand all this. Wow, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, if uh, something like that is nice, actually. If you open a cafe, you need this picture. But this one more to me. Maybe I will buy and put it in my office. <laughs> Somebody's guilty. <laughs> Interesting. Do you have to go to school for this? Just high school for me. C minus across the board. <laughs> Your art is like, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's cool, but I don't think anybody's going to buy it. <laughs> then how are you going to support yourself if you don't want to buy it? You want to know how you can do it? You see back there with all those packages of instant noodles? <laughs> That's how you do it. Instant noodle. Most expensive thing is the paint. Yeah. My parents and I, well, we come to Chinatown like every week. And this place was just like a storage. Uh -huh. So I signed the lease without even looking at the place. And as soon as I walked in, it was, oh my God, it was horrible. Yeah. But I came in here because um, it's Chinatown, right? I mean. Mm -hmm. I also notice it changing, mm -hmm. and I, I want to be part of a, a good change too. But what happens if it's going to be only art gallery? That would be a problem. I can, yeah. I can see yeah. that. I, 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 agree with that. I don't think my parents are going to come down anymore. You know, it's, it's what's it going to become? What's the name again? Ken. Ken, okay. Nice to meet you, Ken. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ciao. Ciao. Right. Bye.
the frequency of Chinatown is shifting, you know. There's new and old energy that's trying to speak with each other, but um, I think that there needs to be maybe a translator. <laughs> This is a historic building, so we bring in this apothecary theme with the herbs and traditional Chinese medicine. It's a little more than just a drink. Water molecules absorb energy. When I infuse it into the cocktail, we get love or clarity. My favorite frequency, 136.1 hertz, the heart chakra. Ah, Gaga 我們現在就是來到學唱
咪咪咪咪咪咪，人皆嬉戏，同声歌咏，齐心快乐歌声得，一边欢笑声，同乡舍平，同乡安定，同歌快乐声得知，温馨家庭情，嘿，叮当叮，叮当叮。叮当叮，叮当叮，叮当叮，高歌太平。嘿，我喺度摆布置，摆到二十年，个个都识我啦。摆咗二十年嘅咧？唔止添啊。哦，二十年系啦，啱啱啱我开嗰时咯。佢哋啲地方啱用啦。话你大晒咯，梗大晒啦，老细啊，冇朋友啦，有钱老识咧，有钱老人就会。我哋等你做唔做几耐？做到你你谂住做几耐呢啲？点做几耐点话定啊？我一百岁咪做到一百岁。哇！咁啊，你你儿女都走过走得过过嚟啊？全部嚟晒，都嚟。我喺度都嚟赚过啊！咁你走嚟呢度做咩？唔做月经理。你个翻翻云高啊 ，Allen 啊嘛。哦，我中意呢度，我经济，我做生意佢就成日搵钱啊嘛。我自己仔都请人凑。我喺广州做咗七年生意，嚟去去香港。你冇你一嚟啲报纸卖得晒嘛？一升到都冇收啦。咁你唔攞升到多啲？我同你讲嘢咁易啊？你定幾多？都你唔你你唔攞攞咪唔得你咩啊？即係搬啊，唔係你要搬就咁死啦！我架車架車。哦，你個 Mercedes Benz 喺嗰度。用咗廿幾年嘅，用咗廿幾年。You know this one here, it's got eighteen percent salt in it. Yes. Oh, you know that? Okay. Shall we use a big knife on that? You like a big knife? <laughs> and then we also have a man's cheese here. They call it Limburger. I mean, that'll take all the plaque off your teeth. <laughs> In Germany, on toast, they eat Limburger and raw onions, yeah. and they live till 100. I want to live till 100. I got to live till 100. <laughs> I want to see what they're going to do with stem cells. That's very important. I like to see it. There we are. If I don't see you, I wish you a Merry Christmas, okay? And it's been a pleasure. Oh, I'm always good. I like, I like to flirt with the girls. Thank you very much.
Andrew, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, we met earlier. Thanks, Olivia. Never David. got your name. David. Oh, David. So all these pictures were sent by various people yep. online? Yeah. Well, I, I think I missed the deadline. Oh, no, it's still going. You can oh, is that right? Sure. Oh, okay. Just looking um, from the other side. I don't see any of my photos on there yet. They said, well, they have thousands of photos there. If you put it in, it's, it's going to be on. Oh. And you're leaving this uh, overnight too? Yeah. Fantastic. So how do you like the building? Love it. Oh, you guys got in the right time. Definitely. I think so. Yes. We've already been, we've already been asked if we were, would be willing to sell. Because somebody likes it now that it's cleaned up. <laughs> they want to come to Chinatown and yeah, it's a relatively new building. It looked pretty rundown uh, for a long time. We've named our gallery uh, Keys Laundry Gallery, and we called it that because uh, on this site, a hundred years ago, the business that was here was Keys Laundry. Isn't it there? Yeah. This was Keys in 1914, so we thought it would be great to name the gallery after the original laundry. Yeah,我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發現我們發
when you play basketball, you want to score, right? Yeah. Here, you don't want to score. Okay? Throw the ball back to the owner. Right. So, most important, every time there's an alarm, a wise time will come back and check. Because they break in through the inside there, which you can't see. Yeah, <laughs> 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 都是,都是繼續 <笑>好一朵迎春花無情嫌離春色迎春花開
My parents came here in the 50s, and my dad, his first job was in Chinatown in one of the fish markets. So even before I was born, there was already that connection. I'm not some produce cutter, butcher type of guy, but I want to work hard too. And I want to do it here in Chinatown, and I want people to see me do it. I try to pay homage to the history and the culture of this play, like how the old Chinese merchants would have their songbirds chirping away in a birdcage in the front of their shop. The things light up. Everything is going to be all right. I think it belongs to Bob Randy. Yeah, it's Bob Randy's building. He must be a Christian. <laughs> I am always mistaken as a developer. I'm not a developer. I advise the development community on what we should be doing. The first piece of art that I ever bought was Norman Rockwell, a man and woman sitting on top of the world. I managed to put the money together from my busboy job. I was 17 years old. And so as we built a collection, we decided that we were going to build a museum somewhere. And we were walking past this building, the wing saying, I said, I want that building so bad. There's a fear of Bob will gentrify it and Bob will take away our Chinatown. But I don't have a, a single regret about what we did here or how we did it. Contemporary art in a heritage building, they don't fight with each other, they complement each other. I get mistaken on the surface that this is just all about condos. I don't give a shit about condos. That's not my goal. My goal is to try and find some balance. We're not going anywhere. And as suspect as Chinatown is, I think they see this as a polite intrusion. I love being in places where things are changing. There's a transformation that's occurring and I'm embracing that. but I also love the traditions. And I can sense like how things happen where, oh, this is new and we try to embrace it, but slowly it starts to take over. Then business is business, right? But it's more than just business, it's respect. Jumbo chicken steam buns? Right, jumbo one. Two? Two. Two, please, yeah. I try not to think about the future too much. Cities change. Thank you very much. I like it that it's falling apart. I like the homemade signs. It's um, human, it's real. I've been at the 
Maywa now nearly 12 years. I decided to live simply and devote myself to what I want to do. Make good poems, that's all I want to do now. It's an intense world because there's so many here. There's 42 rooms to a floor. There's three floors, so how many rooms is that? The ones that are steady are the, the elderly Chinese speaking. You know, they're sort of the glue. And they, they're regular. You, you can hear it now, the, the game downstairs. I don't know what they're talking about, but these older folks, they're, they're relaxed. I mean, I've lived in apartments where they're antiseptic and completely silent. I plan to stay here as long as I can. This building going to be down. This whole structure, from that car park all the way down here, and also down to that other building down there. Hopefully the condo is going to come out by the end of this year. Then uh, you can see more residents, retailers and everything coming in. So you know when this building is going to go? Hey. When this building is going to go? You know? They, they say by the end of this year. You think? Really? About what? Uh, how many stories? 17. <laughs> it's good for you, no sunlight. No. no You're getting no. wider. And there's no <laughs> I'll lose all my hair. <laughs> in the store. There's flies and mice. Even in the bathroom. I want to be a fashion designer. Have you designed any little dresses yet? I do sewing a lot. Uh, you do sewing? Mm -hmm. Don't you, you might get pricked though with um, no. the needles, no? I can only do paper ones. Hey, Monique, do you like your hair in Chinatown? No. No? You don't like to visit Uncle Tom? So, no. Like, every time when I walk, I yeah. always saw, like, a lot of bad things in just one tree. Just one tree? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not good. What about this place? Do you like this place in Chinatown? Mm -hmm. I like this place, too. The neighborhood's not buying your art. So what goes on here? They must love that you accept them. I love that they accept me. Yeah. I just gave it a shot and opened up my own little shop in Chinatown. So you've taken all your money and you're all saying, I want to be an artist, I want to take a chance, I got to get this out of my system. This is it. This is it. Yeah, I saved enough money to, to give it a go for one year. If you, know, if you follow the artists and prostitutes, mm -hmm. you will see where the city's moving. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys do it on the wall, huh? I, I, I see such parallels in art to business. Yeah. Because I look here and I go, wow, okay, how do you monetize it? And yeah. It's hard. But I think it's nice to participate in the community from, from where <laughs> you came. We can't get back the Chinatown that your mom and yeah. dad remember. So how do we 
keep a real respect to Chinatown while this newer use comes in. Hey, Angelo. Hello, how are you? Good, good, good. So those tomatoes are really good. You like them? Yeah. It's got your name on it. It's my uncle in Italy. <laughs> this is your uncle we in Italy? We both have the same names. Oh, I was yeah. wondering that. Yeah. So when was the last time you were in Italy? Oh, yeah. about five years ago. Oh, that's not too bad. Four days with the Italians, that's enough. <laughs> Come back to Canada. One, two, three, good. Oh. Anything else? Olive oil. Olive oil, here's the best you can buy. Once I'm gone, I don't know what's gonna happen. There's a couple of places in San Francisco and in New York. Yeah, but and that's, then once that's they're there. gone, there's, then there's... it's all superstores. People walk in, they see seven brands of olive oil and they don't know which one to buy. The clerk there doesn't even know which is the good one. Yeah, there's, there's not too many places like this. Not many, no. I think the first time I came here was, but Dad brought me here when I was just a young kid. Yes. Because how long have you been here? Oh, I've been here all my life. I'm about 80 now, yeah. so I'm history. You don't look that old. <laughs> my father is from 1906, that's extra history. He yeah. forgot to die, that's all. <laughs> and my grandfather had property back here in the, in the 40s. Yeah. This used to be an Italian area too, right? Exactly, all the Italians were here and behind. They had their boche yard, and they oh. would throw their bowling balls. Yeah. And uh, the one that lost, you'd have to treat the other guy with the wine. <laughs> because they all had their homemade wine. But now they're all gone. So you're the last one here. What are you going to do with this place then? If something happens suddenly and I'm gone, then I don't have to make a decision of what to do. Let the other one worry. It's only dollars. Do you have kids? Two. Two. Two boys. So they might take over? We'll see. They don't think like me. I 你應該有女朋友,你靚仔 <笑> And 
做，都係喺番禺縣。先輩為我哋埋下呢個物業，咁大家就為咗走埋一起，就互相幫助。係誒祖輩喺度生根發展嗰個基礎，咁我哋冇理由由佢爛落去。誒呢度係個我哋個 apartment building 咧，上邊有誒十四個 suite， 好平，租俾我哋啲鄉親。咁呢座 building 咧，將來咧就～要嚟拆西佢，即系呢个环境咧，就系比较恶劣啲啊！有时我哋换啲所有又叫烂咗，你可以睇到。Hey, buddy. How you doing? What's up? Never mind. I didn't go for you. Okay. You find anything? Yeah. You want? Just packing down the garbage for the guys. Got the, they're having a building inspection, so I got to pack down the garbage today. Wow, there's a lot of cans you have. So don't mess it up, eh? Well, have a nice day. What's going to happen to this place now? I don't know. Built in 1914, it's nearly 100 years old. Biggest threat? Well, people start to consider this area a museum, not a real place where real people live. fellow on this floor who died a little over a year ago now. And we had this funny way of gesticulating to each other about nothing at all. He was always delightful and I miss him. But I never learned his name. Hello, Mr. Sue. Hi. Hi. I'm Bob, your neighbor. I'm Yee Sue. Yeah, it's, it, it's long overdue. <laughs> Come on in. Okay. So, and you, you know the history. Yeah. This is the oldest building in Chinatown. It's 1889. Mm -hmm. And then my understanding is the remainder of the building is 1902. But this, I think, is one of the most important parts of Chinatown. In the 20s, there was a curfew after sundown. The Chinese population couldn't go out. So the secret passageway is, is really how business still carried on. So this was 1908, and this was 2008. And I just think 100 years from now, it's really important to show where I intruded. When we started the museum, I was challenged a lot. And I realized that it's not my building. I'm just a custodian. You can tell me, I, I think in a, in a way it almost looked like an awkward challenge that why isn't the Chinese community saving this building? Why is 
the Caucasian guy saving the building. And this is the society development. This is not the Chinese people. Basically, he's saying that Chinese people they don't own Chinatown. Yeah, I, I, I'm probably overly sensitive. But now you're going to restore your building. Yeah, we're going to tear down the back building, but we're thinking about how to get the money to rebuild. My dream is the back two buildings that I'd like to purchase them from you and add on to my museum, and that would give you money to restore the front. But I don't, I don't know what your wish list is, but I would love to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> the Chinatown that my parents used to bring me to and the Chinatown that your parents mm -hmm. enjoyed here is gone forever. But what is that new version? It'll be multicultural, and I'm just hoping that Chinatown keeps a sensitive fabric. So this is the oldest schoolroom in the city. This building was vacant for maybe 15 years. Mm -hmm. There was fires in the building, bad guys in the building, to my language, nobody ever fucked with this room. Mm -hmm. We had all the descendants of the Yip Sang clan, 375 family members come through. And the family told me in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, you came here to learn English. And then as that was happening too fast and children were giving up their heritage, you came here to learn Cantonese. Come on, we'll, we'll go up this stairs. Okay. So the, the sign, I don't know whether you know, Mr. Seuss, and it's by a British artist, Martin Creed. We, we gave it to the city as public art. Uh -huh. And I know there's a love-hate relationship with it. I think 80% of the community really like it, and there's 20% that are very offended by it. I, I, I think it's healthy because it causes discussion. It's always on. It's always on. It's 24-7, 365 days a year. This is the best view of your courtyard, I think. Yeah, yeah. So half the year, these are poppies. And the reason we put in poppies was to respect, honor, or acknowledge the opium trade that was here in the 20s and 30s. It existed, so let's admit it. But, yeah. but you know, mm. Mr. I copied you. You see how your windows are filled in? Yeah. Well, all of mine, yeah, we, we had to put a new concrete wall, mm -hmm. and I came up here and looked at yours and said, it's, it's honest. Okay. <laughs> See, and as neighbors, we never talk, so we don't know, but I'd love to start a dialogue that does anything to calm the street. Mm -hmm. And if that means you saving the building and redeveloping, if, if, if I can help yeah. on the housing side or the intellectual property side, or maybe a new solution to the back. I, I love it. Thank you. ตอนนี้ก็จะตามดูยัดแล้วไม่ทิ้งเตี้ยเต็มไปได้จงใจจ้าโอเคจ้าไม่ก็ใส่ดีไม่มาใส่แล้วเตี้ยไทยสั้น
It, it kind of caught me by surprise. Everything happened um, really quick. There was a sign that says close for holiday and my neighbor never opened again. My neighbor who has three kids, they've, they've been around for 15 years. Our oldest son, pretty much he spent his entire life in this neighborhood. But now when it hits three o'clock, I don't have those kids running into the shop and just saying, hey, Uncle Ken, how's it going? that I don't have to do this all over again. I don't want to come back in my next life to be an, another human being again. So I decided it's time to find a new owner for the business so I can be a full-time student in spiritual study. You know, someone said to me, um, it is a very nice terracotta teapot. What happens if you don't sell it? I said, well, you know what? Before I leave this place, I will just throw it and break it and not feel sorry about it. I want to detach with everyday things. So I rather would break it and say goodbye to it. What can we retain? Legacy? No. Even my dad, who created the uh, tea shop from scratch, like from us being the first tea shop in Vancouver, he's not going to be remembered. People forget you. <笑>有幾多是幾多少有疑難長前今日別來為你今日別來同你人生有今日別來 
喎。O K 啦嚇。Outfit 唔好咁戇啦，係咁啊。我五點幾喺度啦。你唔係啊？啊！你睇下朝頭早五點幾，我架車喺出邊啊！有冇？咁同客翻翻嚟啦，個客。有，帶咗好多新新客啊，多咗好多西人啦、啊。啊！我通常禮拜六禮拜日，哇！咁多西人喺邊度嚟㗎咧？<笑>我一直期待，某一种方式，我会能够待更久。当我爸爸在香港，他经常卖炸鸡排在街上。就是一个自然的发展。当我爸爸在香港，他经常I guess a lot of people were saying, "Why don't you make it like a bike hitch or something?" And I'm like, mm, "I think I'm gonna go more old school than that." Using, you know, my own body pulling that thing. I can't think of anything else. More human. Hello, Hilda. Hi, Bob. How are you? <laughs> Is Stephen here? You should go inside and take a look. Stephen. These are the ones you were interested in last time. These are really nice types, yeah, for, yeah, for and, and invitations and everything, yeah, yeah. And all the writings on them. In the 50s, 60s, some of that. These, these were already being used then, right? They can see the so different we style, the writing, the way these were made. Every generation is different, they redo it again, and each one's a little different so, style. So what does that say? Like this one is a dragon right here. This is the older way of writing it, and there's a newer way of writing it. Yeah, you, you see can those see a small yeah. one here. 
Okay, can I take one? Okay, yeah. It's good luck. It's yeah. good. It's good energy. You've been to the Wing Sang, my no, building. Yeah, no, I haven't. Oh, you have to come down because we're going. We're going yeah. to do a wall. Yeah. Yeah. Of the lettering. I think I got to get you to come over so that we understand some sense of order. Yeah. I just, I just want to make sure yeah. we put them together respectfully. Yeah. We just follow the Chinese dictionary. That's how you lay them all out. Yeah. yeah but that's easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> so who will figure out um, how much you want for these? Oh, the boss lady, my mom. See, yeah. see. She's yeah, the boss. she I'll, gets the final say. I'll yeah. get Kevin to talk to yeah, him. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And you've got the other one, right? Yeah. The other one, this is the only part of it here. The other part is just right here. The, the other ones are all at the yeah. warehouse. Yeah, there's so many of them. I hate to see God thrown away. I love it. Yeah. When I heard you yeah. were going to sell them for yeah. metal, I go, no, no. <laughs> it's got metal. I, I really think they yeah. should stay in Chinatown. Yes, yeah. Okay, we'll talk, to the, we'll talk to the big boss. Hilda, how much are you asking? 1.5. One point. What did the one two doors down just sold? Heathrow Bakery was 2.5. They're building 12 stories, I think. Mm. But that's on Main Street. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get that Not in yet. here. But this should, this should just be saved as a building. One apartment upstairs. Mm -hmm. And I should live here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. If it's up to me, I just put a plastic bag around your building. Yeah, are you going to buy that machine too? <laughs> this one here? We'll, we'll figure out whether I can handle it. He wants to keep Chinatown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just think that as much of it as possible should stay together. I remember when I was around four or five years old here, riding around in a little bike and that, while mom and dad were working. Very close family we were, because that's all there is, eh? When you work together more than 10 hours a day, the memory is your family. There's people coming by, making offers, reasonable offers, but this store, it's peace and tranquility. I found it. If nobody comes in for a while, I just do my work. You kind of hum and maybe talk to yourself in the brains. Time passes. If people got more peace and tranquility, they'd all live longer.
I've never been ambitious in the ordinary sense. I don't own anything, I don't owe anything, and I don't want anything. Poets don't matter. Poems matter. You pick up an anthology and it'll quite often start with a series by Anonymous. And they're centuries old. Why have they lasted this long? Well, somebody thought they were worth keeping. You know, if you love something, you keep it, don't you? I don't think I feel like retiring. The other old fogies, they'll go down to Confederation Park in the morning and walk around the track. I don't want to waste my time doing that. So I'll stay here and serve the customers as they come in, just the same way as my dad did till 85. He was standing right behind this counter, and that's when he had a massive stroke, which is the best way. So I'm hanging on. 
Oh, hang on. Bao 走得有鬼腰了